Hello and welcome to yet another episode of As Told by Gonzo. I am Gonzo himself. So the next few weeks, I will be doing a series of formats that I collect. So now today's uh, video is going to be focusing on 4K. Next week will be HD DVD, Laserdisc, then VHS. Then I will be getting into like my Criterion collection, my Arrow collection, my Shout Factory collection. Um, which would probably leave, lead up to October. Um, I got about probably just about over 20, 25 4K movies. Now, when I first start collecting a certain type of format, I stick to some guidelines or I, I try to. I'm going to break one of the rules like right off the bat. Um, with the exception of 4K, all the formats that I do collect for, including vinyl, um, I have a player for. I don't have a 4K TV. No, nor do I have a 4K player. They're just expensive. They're something you have to save up for. Um, so with that said, uh, probably either this year or probably most likely next year, I will invest into a TV, a 4K TV and a 4K player. Um, or I just might buy the, I believe the Xbox One S or one of the Xboxes, I'm not very familiar with like modern gaming. One of the game systems uh, does have a 4K player. So I might just go that route. It just seems a lot more easier. First one up is The Incredibles. Um, I got this for super cheap um, at a secondhand kind of um, physical media store, bookstore. Um, and it's The Incredibles. It's one of my favorite uh, Pixar movies. I didn't really enjoy Incredibles 2 all that well. I think we waited too long of a time to get a sequel for this and it was just kind of disappointing um but brad bird is amazing um and he's also directed one of my favorite movies of all time and animated movies of all time uh favorite of all time uh the iron giant so if you've never checked that out definitely check it out gardens of the galaxy volume 2 i got this for free actually um i uh belong to the disney movie rewards and if you cash in rewards uh, you get free shit. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This movie is freaking amazing. It's something that I definitely wanted to see in the best quality format. Um, so I picked it up on 4K. This Avengers Endgame. This is hard to do with just one hand. It's a Target exclusive. Um, you'll see some other Avengers movies in here that are on 4K. With that, I do have Infinity War as well. Um, I do have Avengers Age of Ultron. Which is my least favorite Avengers movie, but that's saying not saying a lot because it's still I I honestly think uh, Age of Ultron it gets a lot of gets a lot of heat, but it's not as bad as people think. I know Ultron was very underdeveloped. I didn't really see him as a the, one of the best villains ever that Marvel has put out, um, but it's still enjoyable and and it's watchable because just based off the way it's shot, it's gonna look incredible on 4K. Uh, and that's the first Avengers, um, directed by, I forgot his name, Josh Whedon. Um, had to pick this up. I'm glad I did. I got it for a super good price. It was at Target for like 15 bucks for like a month. Um, and I just had to pull the trigger. Thor Ragnarok. Got this for free. Again, Disney Movie Rewards is amazing. Oh. Again, the 4K was cheaper than the Blu-ray during Black Friday last year. So I picked up Deadpool two on 4k is uh, the first russo brothers movie and that's captain america winter soldier um one of probably besides civil war um this is my favorite captain america movie but i feel like the first captain america movie is very overshadowed by a lot of these it's still very good i feel like every captain america movie is fairly good it's captain marvel um i did not really enjoy this at all and i still really don't enjoy it but I'm a completist, and I need to have all of the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies uh, in some format. And I got this for super dirt cheap. Like, it was, I basically stole it of how cheap I got it for. Uh, the Little Mermaid. Again, a rule that it's broken. Uh, I already have this movie on Blu-ray. I have the signature edition, and then the first time it was released on Blu-ray, but it's Disney animation, and it probably looks incredible on 4K. Um, Harrison Ford and Air Force One. I have never seen this movie, but it was 850. So 4K movie on for 850? Why not? 
I've, I've heard it's one of the best 4Ks you could buy. Uh, that's Valerian. Um, this movie is entertaining enough that I could sit back and kind of watch and shut off my brain. Uh, but it's a movie that's from the director, um, Luc Besson, who directed like Lucy, uh, The Fifth Element, and um, uh, what's the movie? Lay on the Professional. Um, it's not one of his better movies. Next up is a movie that I did not own on Blu-ray, so I picked up Grease. Uh, this is one of my favorite musicals. Um, it's actually, I think, one of my cousin's favorite musicals as well. Uh, Bumblebee. Uh, this movie is super underrated. If you don't like, if you don't really enjoy Transformers, I only enjoy the first Transformers with Shia LaBeouf. Uh, the other other ones were pretty mediocre, um, but Bumblebee very very good um saving private ryan one of spielberg's best movies and one of the best war movies ever made um i just recently picked this up because it was on sale on amazon uh mary queen of scots uh, i've not seen this but it got a lot of oscar buzz and golden globe um buzz last year and I like Mar uh, Margot Robbie and Sasha Ronan. Our next one up is Creed. Bought this during Black Friday last year. I love Creed. I love Creed 2 as well. I still think Creed's a better movie than Creed 2. Um, but the whole Rocky franchise is something that I grew up watching uh, throughout my youth. A movie that looks really good and is shot very well. The movie's mediocre. And that's Justice League. Um, I really enjoyed this, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't as good as I know Thor Ragnarok came out around this time um when this movie came out um and i like justice league for what it is i know there's a um, Zack snyder cut out there somewhere and they've teased it a lot will we ever get it i don't know dunkirk christopher nolan fans are just obsessed with christopher nolan and they kind of kill it for me uh, it's ready player one this movie is phenomenal uh, so many Easter eggs in this movie. I actually seen this movie on 70 millimeter when it first came out. Uh, the Cinerama in Seattle um, had a uh, had a, like a week of special screenings in 70 millimeter film. So this was pretty cool to see on uh, actual film. Uh, Spike Lee's Black Klansman, um, very good, very very good. Um, if you want to get into Spike Lee movies, I would definitely give this a watch. Or if you just like Spike Lee. Uh, movies in general this is actually the only spike lee movie I've, uh, I've ever seen um do the right thing is definitely on my list it does have a criterion release so i might get that in the future uh, another spielberg flick uh was an upgrade uh it's et the extra trash true on 4k uh if not my favorite spielberg movie of all time mm, the witch uh very underrated movie i think a lot of people either like it or they do not like it um, I personally enjoy it, and this is one of the cheaper 4Ks from A24 that you could buy. It's like $9.99 everywhere you go. I'm really excited about this director's next movie, The Lighthouse, that comes out later on this year. Last but definitely not least, this, this movie um, had a big impact on me when it first came out. Uh, I've, I've seen it twice in the theater. I went with someone to watch it, and um, there was a lot of hype around it. So I was like, hey, a horror movie that has hype and as really good, um, I'll go see it. And it actually premiered um, at Sundance the year that I went. Unfortunately, I wasn't um, I wasn't able to get a ticket to one of the screenings, so I missed it. But I definitely heard or heard about it around Sundance, um, and that is Hereditary. Um, seeing this twice with a friend, not the same friend, different friend, uh, at the movie theater in both times scared me on a different level than I have been scared from a movie in a very long time. Um, it's not so much gory, but it definitely gets under your skin and pulls out, pulls out the anxiety, heart sh uh, anxiety strings that, um, some of us have. And that's it for my 4K collection. Let me know in the comments if you guys collect 4K, if you want to collect 4K, uh, maybe what movies you would like to see on the 4K format. Uh, I know for me, the Back to the Future trilogy would be pretty cool to have on the 4K format. Uh, I mean, the Blu-rays already look pretty pristine <laughs> as it is. Uh, but watching that in like a 4K... I've seen some older movies that have gotten the 4K transfer... Um, and are pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I will catch you guys next week with my HD DVD collection. Till next time, see you later.